the more that you use ChatGPT, it feels like at times it just gets chaotic. And I'm actually very surprised that OpenAI hasn't even released this feature for ChatGPT. But I have one little Chrome extension that I think is going to save you a lot of time and to get your chats a lot more organized. All right, we're going to talk about this new folders Chrome extension. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. All right. So uh, before we do, let me tell you real quick what this is. My name's Jordan. I host Everyday AI. And each and every day we do an AI in five, a little five minute tip, trick, tutorial around generative AI to grow your company and career. So please uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, you know, if this video is helpful, let me know in the comments and go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for the free daily newsletter. We share these videos in there every day. Okay. So let's jump in and take a quick look at this Chrome extension. So I'll leave the link in the description for the video, but it's called Organized ChatGPT. So uh, I know what you're thinking if you're a heavy ChatGPT user is like, all right, Jordan, there's a lot of Chrome extensions that do this. Yeah, there's tons. I've tried probably at least 10 of them. Uh, I like this one the most. Here's why. Most of these other Chrome extensions add so many uh, additional features, uh, utilities, right? And it actually makes the ChatGPT experience very heavy. Uh, it, it makes it load slower, uh, which I think is actually a really bad thing. Uh, so I do love this one. It's it's a simple Chrome extension, so it'll work on Chrome. Obviously, it'll also work on Microsoft Edge. Yeah, I like Edge. All right, so uh, here's, here's how it works. I'm going to do a very simple tutorial, right? Um, so I'm going to show you first what it looks like with it off, okay? So the, chat, uh, the extension is just called Organized Chat GPT. Uh, I just toggle it off. I'm going to refresh. So this is what your chats normally look like, right? Like it's just a little bit of chaos here, right? Um, so now let's toggle it on and you'll see, I've already started to, uh, use it a little bit. Uh, so let's just go ahead and show you. So there's things I really like. There's some things I don't like, but I can get over, especially since you can just toggle the sidebar close. Uh, so one thing I don't necessarily like is it's a little distracting, but it's less distracting than other, uh, Chrome extensions that do this. I don't like the constant green uh, kind of button here. It's a little distracting, but aside from that, I actually love this Chrome extension and I'm going to be using it a lot. So here's what you do. So when you have it enabled, uh, it's super simple. So I'm going to go through, I know that these ones down here, I'm actually going to do a new one. Uh, so let's just call this one. So I'm going to click the plus icon. I know what this chat is. So I'm going to call this chat. Um, I'm just going to say, so it's called a map. So I'm going to call this, uh, Microsoft research, right? So I use different chats for different reasons. In this chat, I'm, um, you know, going after, uh, you know, trying to learn more about Microsoft by using ChatGPT. All right. So uh, I'm going to click this color wheel, which I really like. So I'm going to pick a nice little uh, teal color, something that's not really available, kind of like our everyday AI blue a little bit. All right. Well, actually, I'm not going to do that because I'm probably going to use that color for something else. I'm going to use uh, maybe a nice little pinkish purple there. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, select that. There we go. And then I'm going to click save. Okay. So what that did is right away, uh, it created a new folder. So now if I scroll to the top, um, and, and what I found is sometimes you have to just refresh the browser a little annoying, but that's okay. Uh, so of course this time it didn't work. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's how this goes. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you make something and it, it doesn't work. Uh, let's, let's try that one more time. Maybe I made a mistake. So, uh, you click the plus button. I'm going to click create new mind map. I'm just going to say Microsoft. I'll just click, let's see, Microsoft, uh, research one. I'll just click a color. I'm going to click save. Let's see if that worked this time. There we go. Okay. So it looks like it did one here. It didn't save the custom color. Now that I'm squinting, I actually see it. So that's interesting. Maybe it, it has a problem with custom colors. Uh, I'm not sure. So I would probably try that again. All right. There we go. I had to lean in there. So, all right. I'm curious now if, uh, if I change the custom color here, let's see. Okay. It did it there. Weird. So anyways, now that's this search right here is saved here. So, uh, let's just say I, I have some saved here. So this is, uh, you know, Dolly, uh, I, I was starting to put some Dolly chats in there. It does this little refresh thing, which uh, I don't hate. That's okay. But here's this chat that I just saved, right? Uh, here we go. So I click it a little refresh. 
there it is. There's the there's the one I was researching. So uh, pretty cool. You can create. Um, I don't know if there's limits yet. I just started using this, right? So I can scroll down. Uh, I have one called knowledge cutoff. I routinely test the knowledge cutoff. So uh, I can just click. I already know I have that folder. I can just click on the little plus sign here. I can click knowledge cutoff. So this one, uh, I'm going to go ahead and rename this chat. And I'm just, just so we know. So I'm going to just say knowledge cutoff three. Okay. So KC3, there we go going to go to the top because I just edited it. I'm going to click here, put it in knowledge cutoff. All right. I'm going to click off. I'm going to go back to knowledge cutoff. There's my KC3. Click it. Little flash of the screen. That's okay. And bam, we're in. All right. And then the good thing is, so, you know, a lot of people are like, okay, well, what happens then when you stop or when you shut it off? Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. All right. I'm going to refresh it. And there's my chats still there. So it's, it's, it's not like it gets rid of them, right? Uh, it's just a good way to organize it. So when you toggle it on, you have all your organization. Uh, maybe you don't want to use it all the time. Maybe you're like me and you like a super clean interface, but you can obviously toggle, uh, you, you know, toggle the sidebar in. So uh, super simple uh, Chrome extension, but uh, I've, I've actually tried uh, a lot of these. And I think that um, unfortunately, a lot of them are bloat. And when you're working, you know, with or they have like 50 features, right? Um, this also does have a search feature. Uh, it only searches though. Um, I might as well just show this since we're since we're all the way in here, right? So it only searches the name uh, of the chat, right? So uh, let's just say I'm going to scroll down here. Okay, I see something about uh, a guide. Right. So if I just type in the word guide, okay, there it's that chat is right there. So it only searches the chat name. It doesn't search the inside. There's other Chrome extensions that search the contents. But if I'm being honest, those cause chat GPT to be very slow, especially, you know, our account has uh, probably couple thousand chats, if I'm being honest. Uh, so it, it makes it go really slow. So uh, I think it's a great Chrome extension. Uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, and also, please go to youreverydayai.com. Uh, sign up for the free daily newsletter. Let me know if you like this one. And we'll see you back for another AI in 5, y'all. Thanks.